Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the last couple weeks. Actually um, compiled quite a bit of finds all in this one video. So first of all, let's start off with the porcelain. Hand painted porcelain, pretty cool. It was only $1.99 at the Salvation Army thrift store. Take this label off. And it is made by, I believe that's the Rosenthal mark. Mom Bijou, Bavaria. So for two bucks, I thought this is definitely worth at least $10, $15. Uh, definitely uh, 100 years old, pretty sure. And I'm, oh, here's one more thing. Uh, bought this for also $1.99, nice piece of art glass. Hand, or I guess it's called hand blown. I would think it's called mouth blown, but mm, whatever. Uh, I thought it was interesting. It sort of looks like a grenade, like a hand grenade. I don't know. And I thought I'll try something different. Uh, if I can, I will um, open the packaging in front of the camera. So this one, I wanted to protect it, so I took it out immediately. So $2.99, had a bunch of little odd ceramic items. These are not worth anything, but I bought it for this. Check this out. It is, I believe it's like a Navajo or Pueblo, Peb, Pueblo, hard to say, Pueblo pottery, artist, artist pottery, hand painted, handmade, and it is signed. Right, there you go. Made in 94. Lu Jen Hauer. Tao, Taos, I guess that's the place. First name Pam. Anyways, I did look up this artist and something like this, it sells between, I think it's like 50 to $100 for this tiny little vase or pot. So, as I said, I took it out of its baggie because I didn't want it to be rubbing these other ceramic items. This, I will probably donate back to the store. This, I will be keeping. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or sell it. Something interesting to put on your shelf, right? And, um, picked up this. I know, at first glance, it sounds a little expensive, $5.99. But I did some research online before I bought it. Game Boy Player Startup Disc. So if you have a, um, what is it called? Like an, oh, right here. Like those old school Nintendo Cube um, game consoles, you'd have this sort of converter that you could put your Game Boy cartridges into, but you need this disc for the machine to read the cartridges. So I think most of the time, I think I've seen these converters, that machinery part is like 50 bucks on eBay. But the funny thing is the discs uh, sell between 100 and $150. That's crazy. So I think people who like find the adapter at like yard sales or thrift stores most of the time the discs are separated from them so you know it's been how many years right so i bought this for i don't know i was thinking maybe i'll just flip it on ebay pretty cool i opened it up already um the disc is there 
and the um, manuals. So yeah, pretty cool, six bucks. All right, and here's some more goodies. All right, $2.99, $2.99, $1.99. Now, I bought this bag of junk. All right, this is from the Value Village store. And, you know, it's only now I really pay attention to the little baggy stuff. Because, if you see right here, besides this other junk, they have a nice, nice piece of sterling inside. So for two bucks, check this out. And it is marked. Let me see. I'm just gonna have a closer look to find the mark for you. Uh, let's see. Saw it the other day. Yep, right here, right on the inside. See that? Burks Sterling. And let's pull out the old trusty mail scale, postal scale. All right. What's this baby weigh? 23 grams. So that's like roughly $23 Canadian of silver. All right, roughly. Uh, and then I found these souvenir spoons, sterling souvenir spoons. Just hanging around on those pegboards they have against the wall at the Value Village. All right, it's really hard to open one-handed. Oh. All right, I like these ones. They are marked. Put it down here. Sterling. But these are the antique ones. You could tell because there's some enamel, enameling, and also the design. This one's from Canada. And sometimes in the bowl, they'll inscribe the location, like a place name. Jasper, Jasper, BC. That's like a small town close to, I don't know. I wouldn't say close, but by Vancouver. And then we have another one. This one is from Edmonton, Edmonton, Alberta. And look at that, that's definitely antique. Again, notice the enameling. It's not just some sort of sticker that they put on. And it is marked right here. Sterling. That's what I like to see. And these spoons are not super heavy, but I definitely made a profit. All right, let's throw them on the old scale. First one. So like eight bucks Canadian, 15 bucks. So four bucks turning into 15 bucks. And that's only a scrap value. These are definitely not scrap. I would say as collectible antiques, um, at least double scrap. So let's say 30 bucks of spoons right there. All right. So always check out the little baggies. All right, next. Uh, picked up some more spoons, all three. We're at the um, Salvation Army in Vancouver, and um, it was surprising no one picked picked them out. But from first glance, it looks like a typic typical modern uh, silver-plated spoon, but it's been inscribed, and there was only two like this in the big box they have there. So I think they were presentation pieces. Uh, P A G. -C CC, 99 cents each, heirloom sterling, silver rose. So people looked at that and probably thought, okay, that's just like the name of the company. But you know, back in the day, they don't play, play around with the word sterling. They don't just throw it around nilly willy, willy nilly. 
So yeah, these are like normal heavy spoons. Both of them are marked. And this one is somewhat of an antique. All right. It says here. Imperial Order, no, Daughters of the Empire, Imperial Order. Was it Imperial Order, Daughters of the Empire? But uh, it's inscribed. Jane something chapter, 1846. And uh, yeah, actually I did this. It's 99 cents and it, the label was obscuring the back. So I just picked at it. That's one trick. Use your thumbnail, just scratch it, move it over a bit. And it's Burke's Sterling. Again, that's like our local silversmith uh, jeweler type thing. Again, uh, enameling, nice enameling. So this is nice antique. And we'll also throw that on the scale. All right, first one. All right, 14 grams just by that one alone. All right, what's this one? 21. All right, put them all together. 41. 50, uh, 55, 55, 56. So for three bucks, got 56 bucks worth of silver. Put that up the other spoons. All right. And then we got some jewelry. Picked this out of the uh, junk jewelry um, at the counter at Salvation Army, 399. But at first glance, I thought, wow, that looks like real silver. See that toning? But yeah, yeah, you know, there's a lot of costume jewelry that it sort of looks like that, you know, silver plated, but it is marked. See it right at the edge, right there. You see it, it's in focus now. 925, that's what I like to see. So yeah, that is a nice score. And I'm gonna put that in my stack, yeah. And here's another bracelet. I think I paid two dollars for this. It was mixed in with the junk jewelry, and um, yeah, it is Asian elephants. Um, it's not marked, but uh, I should test it. But it looks pretty good so far. It's hollow, and let's see what else do we have here. Um, I don't know, it's a uh, very good workmanship. Definitely a nice piece of jewelry. And let's just weigh it out. All right. Hmm, 45, 44, 44 bucks of silver, basically. Canadian dollars, that is. And this, if it is silver, ah, respectable 25 grams, 25 bucks. Definitely got to ask to test that. And this, saw this at the Salvation Army store just the other day. And uh, it is a silver chopstick and spoon set, box set. And originally it was encased in cellophane on the inner um, part. And it was pretty cheap, $3.99. So um, it is marked. On the spoon, see the character, Chinese character, Fook. No, I'm not saying the bad, naughty word. All right. No, literally, it's called Fook or Fook. And um, this set is actually Korean because uh, traditionally for, I think, birthdays or whatnot, they would have a metal spoon and uh, metal chopsticks. Uh, generally, Chinese people don't like to use metal spoons. They use porcelain spoons because they're insulated. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like 800 silver. Uh, it's engraved on the front and at the end. I'll show you the mark. It's 
let's see, right at the back. It's only a partial mark, but having a partial mark is a good sign. You see that? Sort of obscure. All right, and um, yeah, I, I found a few of these sets uh, over the years at the uh, Salvation Army thrift store. And here's the chopsticks. The chopsticks, unfortunately, are not marked. And, yep, good score there. I don't know, just going by the toning and the smell, it just says 800 silver to me. All right. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, got a little bit greedy. I saw another spoon, bought it. But actually, when I translated the Korean words in the back, it said white copper, literally, which uh, I don't know. I should have left it at the store, but it was only 99 cents, so I didn't really lose much. But yeah, um, nice piece of silver. And let's get the weight on this. All right, 34 grams so far with the chopsticks. Ah, 67, 67 grams, not bad. That's a good score, 68 from four bucks. Pretty good. Put that away. All right, the, I've saved the best for last. You see this box, I saw it at the Salvation Army thrift store behind, well, inside the display case, and it is $19.99. Now look closely, there's remnants of a old paper label with um, some, I guess, handwritten um, ink um, or pen marks. But uh, yeah, $19.99. If you look closely, the ink has oxidized. So you can tell there is some age because it takes a while for black ink to become almost brownish. I saw some like really old um, documents that were like that before. Well, check this out. This is from the Netherlands. It's a six setting. Yeah, right here, NV handle. My Van Arken and Company Weld in, I guess it's worldwide or something. Well, maybe I'm just pronouncing it wrong or guessing wrong. But um, it's a f uh, silver uh, fish eating set. So you have a setting for six. So six forks and six knives. And at first, uh, I was always about to pass up on this because... Um, it looked very modern, like the little, the designs around the edges, the little dots. But something told me, go check it, check it anyways. So I, luckily I, you know, asked the lady to pull it out. And yeah, just the design threw me off. Because I've seen a lot of silver plated stuff look like that. But, you know, um... It's always good to check because on the back, if you look closely, are uh, silver hallmarks. And I recognize these because I've seen them before. Uh, they are sterling ha or silver hallmarks from the Netherlands. So they're Dutch hallmarks. And you see the lion in the center? I mean, it's not like the British sterling lion, but it's in a, some sort of a, like, I don't know you call it a... Uh, six-sided box but the, there's an overlapping key mark on top of the line me, basically meaning it is export silver so like key out the door uh, so, and the mark underneath the line is the number two so if it's number one it means it's sterling 925 silver but number two means it's lower grade like uh, 835 so 83 and a half percent silver and there's uh, also a date mark, which uh, I calculated it was made in 1927. So almost 100 years old. And there's the maker's mark on the very left. So I think a lot of people looked at this and thought, oh, just like 
um, silver plated marks or hallmarks. They didn't recognize the meaning of those marks, but I did. And the knives have the same markings. Look at that toning. And also a good sign is um, if you rub it, the, um, the toning does come off and you have that smell, a very acrid smell um, of silver. Like very, not sour, but strong, strong smell. See that? Oh, I love these marks. Yeah, and um, I don't know, this is a medium to large uh, silver hull for me. I haven't had one this big in ages. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, once I saw it, uh, the marks, right away I closed the box, told the lady I'm buying it. It's a good thing you do that because you don't need people hovering behind you, um, figuring it out and opening their big fat mouths, right? So um, we're going to weigh it all out and see, uh, well, I already know, but I want to, you know, for your benefit, you could see the weight of this actual set. Let's see. All right. Hmm. I think we're having some technical difficulties. All right, got to change. Well, I'm, I'm just going to reset it, take out the battery, put it back in. That's one of my tricks. All right, if I can put it in, what the heck? Hmm. Oh, okay, it's in. All right. Is it going to work now? Hmm. Of all the times for this scale not to work. All right, all right, I think I think we're ready to go. All right, number one. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, it's gonna take a while while I stack this all up carefully. All right, and now the forks. This is a lot of silver. All right. Now that's 529, 529 grams. Um, basically over $500 Canadian. That's a pretty decent score for a $19.99 purchase. Not bad. I wish I could find more like this. Well, it's out there. You just have to keep on going back to the thrift stores and keep your eyes peeled. And always don't be afraid to ask to look at items and just look, you know, underneath them. Make sure it's like marked um, or not marked. But it's all out there. I, I consider thrift stores, it's like a river. And um, you go back to the river often enough you're going to catch some fish so it's like a stream of goodies flowing by anyways i have not had a score like this in ages well the treasure is out there for everyone just have to keep your eyes peeled anyways i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe coin picker out